All right. So, yeah, man, I love this car. I really like this car. I've talked about it a lot in other parts. I finally got it sorted out. It's got a load of parts on it. So I was trying really hard to get the power up, but because it's not a muscle car, it's not gonna get like 10 out of 10 on engine power. Like, but you see, it's not like the acceleration is bad. I just don't understand the scales in this game. They're just pretty whack. Better off just doing whatever you wanna do and like ignoring there's a good reason why the game doesn't say your power rating is too low please come back with it because you there are some cases where you physically cannot get the car to the power level it's asking you to get it to because it's an off-road race like i have a fully tricked out subaru wrx impreza for my off-road races it's got the highest level thing, it can barely get over 320 and the game is like you need a 380 performance car for this off-road ignoring the fact that your like performance rating gets halved every time you put off-road gear on stuff so it's like is that before the off-road shit goes on? because I won the race easily because you're fighting like Literally, you're fighting like a old ass pickup trucks and shit, and you're thinking like, I somehow feel like I've got this race. Oh no, this uh, Toyota Tundra is going to outrun my fully modified Subaru Impress. I'm sure it's got much better performance than mine. This slow truck. So I'm poning these guys. But they, they are just like driving Ford Focuses and that stupid Mercedes A-Class, so I really don't like the A-Class Mercedes. It is it's everything I dislike about the car industry. It screams focus test. It screams, I am a man. Uh, I am having a midlife crisis. I have to carry all my kids to school and to their football clubs. Um, my wife won't let me actually have a sports car. So I have to have this AMG people's carrier. And I'm just like... Like, it's just like... It screams compromise. And I don't like it. <laughs> like, you know? I hate crossover vehicles because... Uh, they, they're never going to be good because there are too many things at once. And, you know, as someone who isn't really a family man kind of person and stuff, I, I just see it as what's the fucking point? Like, this is the reason we can't have nice two-seater sports cars that are reasonable price anymore because everyone's driving gas-guzzling crossover vehicles that get shit miles to the gallon and still have a bad 0 to 60 because they're a fucking people carrier. <laughs> like, oh yes, my Porsche hippo car, it goes really fast at the expense of the planet, but at least my little children can get to their cricket club. It's like, stop having fucking kids then. Calm down, there's a thing called contraception. I was reading a disturbing article which is very anti-humanist <laughs> but like makes a good point everyone's always going you should go vegan you should stop driving gas guzzling vehicles which you know yeah you should stop buying plastics yeah you know how much um carbon uh how bad for the environment it is to have children Oh, no, can't say that. No, we've got to have children. Every life is sacred. 7.9 billion people on climbing. Yep. I think we devalued ourselves at this point. You know? Just saying. It's, you know, why not have a dog? 
it's actually better to have a dog and a Land Rover and own cattle than have a baby. No, it's the Mystic Earth Mother people never bring that up. Gotta have the children, man. No, the rivers. No, I've been swamped. Why is this so bad? Because the green neon thing. Oh, that billboard up there reminds me. Um, I'm gradually, as I pick up this game every month or so, going through the game trying to get the collectibles, because there's actually a lot of cool unlocks. It's not really affecting the main game. Like, you can get all the performance parts you want, and you can buy all of the cars except some of the unlock cars. And they're not so desirable that you're thinking, oh shit, why would they hide this behind the wall? They're like, special edition BMW, special edition Nissan, that like, kind of thing, like a Nismo or something. So it's, it's like, okay, yeah, that's fine, like, I like that. But basically, every time you do, say, all the billboards, you get one, one car, kind of like Burnout Paradise. You know, the, because it's probably members of the team that EA dissolved the studio of for this. I got fifth. Um, you know, because this is just Burnout Paradise, but worse if you think about it. Like, open world, gas stations give power ups. You're doing very similar kind of point to point races a lot of the time. Uh, like, billboards and collectibles in the areas, it's just, you've got, like, you even got a damage bar, and the only reason it's a bar is because certain car companies don't like you showing pictures of their cars smashed up, so, you know, in Burnout Paradise they didn't have that problem because they could always represent it visually, because they're not real cars, so... Thanks EA for ruining an amazing studio because read. EA are basically the Disney of video games. They just go around buying people and destroying the studio and going, ha ha ha, hostile takeover. Taking all your talent. Taking all your IPs. Then burying them. Ha ha, fuck you. It's like, oh man. Dark timelines. Oh look, an Audi. Should I get an Audi in here? I've always had a weird thing with Audis where it's like, I don't hate them. When I was playing them in Forza, they were actually really good to drive. But you know, it's just nothing about them that makes them super desirable for me. Like, they're just there. But then if you say to me, hey look, there's the RS6 or whatever, I'm like, oh cool. I don't know why. I have terrible taste. Shall we talk about what is your least favorite giant video game conglomerate that keeps destroying decent IPs? Is it EA or Konami? <laughs> or someone else? For me it's Vivendi. I have a personal hatred now towards Vivendi because I'm they're the guys that fucked up Spyro and Crash Bandicoot for the entire PS2 and Xbox 360 kind of era, those gens. They just fucked it. Like, completely, because... And they just kept giving them to different developers, going, make us money. I don't give a shit, and I've talked about this a lot, where it's just like, you can feel the exec walking into the building and saying, no, Christmas release, no. Make it so the kids like it. No, you can't have that. No, you can't have these creative IPs in this thing that it's under the same banner of. No, Ripper Ruin, Crash Nitro Car, no. No, 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 no. And like, I mean, man, fuck those people. <laughs> oh, I hate it when things like that happen because there's been no original content really for a long time and then Crash 4 is like playing it safe 
cynical cash grab exercise, so it's like not really great. There's, you can feel the lack of love in it. And then everything else is just, hey man, get Beanox to put a HD re rebuild of this these classics. Yeah, that'll do, I guess. Found out recently that the people who were making all of the Crash and Spyro and stuff, which was okay, because it's like, okay, nostalgia. Way to cash in on the nostalgia, because people... People who grew up with that are my age now, so that's the target for nostalgia, isn't it? Cynical nostalgia cash grab exercises. Uh, the people who are responsible for that, uh, Activision Blizzard, have now folded into making Call of Duty again. So it's basically like, don't expect any new stuff from those guys. It was literally just, hey man, nostalgia, grinding, okay, back to COD. <laughs> like, don't expect new content. Fucking video games, man. Oh, thanks, guy. Where you crashed. And I have a repair kit. These guys, the cops, they talk like they're Jeremy Clarkson. You know, like, oh yeah, it's the Honda NSX. Gonna chase after the thing with the speed. <laughs> Or we sit down a spiky spread. It just sounds like what the what that's a bad Clarkson impression, but you know what I mean. Shall we go do it? Oh I can go up here maybe and avoid oh there's cop there too. Uh let's go back. Freestarring all of these are probably what's gonna hold me from unlocking everything in this game because the drift challenges particularly and the top speed challenges they really require you to do a lot of stuff that i am too lazy to do because sometimes you're sat there for 10 whole minutes trying to like build up enough speed or points because i drive a lot of these cars where they're quite retro don't get up to like 190 quickly I'm sure if I just save up and buy the Koenigsegg like it wants me to, I can just do it very quickly, but that's not the point. <laughs> a lot of grind. And like I said, then you're then you're buying the fastest car in the game to unlock a bunch of other neat cars that are all like lower performance, so I kind of like that, I'm not too bothered about. At some point I want to show off the most wanted BMW M3 that they gave me, because they gave you that car from that game, and I've been fiddling around with it off screen, just getting it to like the highest level I can. I need to stop flubbing all of these high heat races. To get more parts at this point, so but otherwise it's going pretty well. And I may bring out my old BMW, the first BMW I bought. Actually, it's the first car in the game I got because they give you a choice, and I went, "Oh, okay, I'll get this BMW." Uh, the is it also an M3 M3 Evolution, a really old one. For some reason, that car is one of the only cars in the game where you can't put ultimate parts on it, it just literally blocks you from putting ultimate parts on it. And it's like pretty fast at elite plus level, so that's a shame. I'll show that off later, but it's actually a bit annoying that it's limited for some reason. I think it's just so that you can't go, oh hey man, I'll just use this one car and play the whole game with just my starter card. I knew a guy who did that with carbon. Weird guy. Hey guys, need for speed carbon, you can have many cars and you can drive them fast and they can all have different things going on. My friend, he bought the starter vehicle and then he 
perceived that we bought like a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, I can't remember which the iteration it was at that point. He decked them out all the same black with flame vinyls on it, like a CKY album cover, and um, or like a Burger King advert, <laughs> and, and like he would sell every other car. He'd just go, I have one car in my garage, and I said, but wait, what if, because in the cop chases there, they take away your car, right? What if you can't afford to buy the car out of impound, or they steal it for good, and you don't have enough money to buy another car, and he's like, I guess it's game over then. And he was like doing some sort of like Nuzlocke <laughs> with like Need for Speed. The Need for Speed Nuzlocke, you can have one car if you get busted and it's one of the ones with the stealing your car mechanic or the pink slip mechanics, and you lose. Well, it sucks to be you, play the whole game again. <laughs> uh, Bloodborning it in a Need for Speed game. Lose all your souls, go back to the bonfire. I wonder if the game has a failsafe then and goes, okay. Let's face it, it's a EA game, it probably just crashes. I say that because I had Need for Speed Most Wanted and I had this issue where my garage was at full capacity and I knew which token I had to pick to get my the pink slip of the opponent's car and I really wanted it and it was like opponent number two in the most wanted list, you know, going out and then the number one would have been BMW, number two was like this really fancy ever car I wanted. But my garage was full, and my checkpoint was just before the race, but when the race starts, so you're already hard locked in. And I'm like, I'm gonna get this car, and it would crash my entire PS2 when I pressed the right token to get my uh, the pink slip of the car. It wouldn't send me to the garage and say, your garage is full, or an error, just go, and it like, hard crashed, like, eeeeee, <laughs> frozen the thing whole screen, the beep, and I have to reset the whole PlayStation system, and I'm like, really, you didn't have, like, a failsafe? Why you have an arbitrary garage limit anyway, if this is what happens? Oh, no. Hey, Andy Volatile Park, let's go. A dib it. Oh, uh, we gotta get rid of these cops. We're just trying to ruin my time, man. Street racing. Street, street racing. Street racing. That was like me trying to say street fighting and street racing, and it came out as street racing. What's that, like selling rice on the street? Uh, cooking on the street? I don't know. Uh, <coughs> street racing is a victimless, victimless crime. See, I said something dumb by accident, and I was... Whoa. <laughs> game is falling apart, man! The Matrix is falling apart around us. Ah, oh, Glitches in the Matrix. Literally is the Matrix. Okay, I've lost them. It's not too far away from the... the bingo. I think we're good. I think we're good, right? Let's see what volatile part we got. I might have recorded it. If not, I'll tell you next time. It's probably another turbo. They're very unimaginative. They just go turbo unlock, turbo unlock, and it's like, can you give me another thing? <laughs> Recharge your face? Oh, I got money. Dollar dollar bill. Alright. Next time BMWs, maybe. Maybe.